It's the tune of the month. I'm so glad you found me. I'm Shannon Heaton and every month I give you a new tune to learn. For 2018, I'm going to feature tunes from my Irish Music Stories podcast. This is the show about traditional music and the bigger stories behind it. Also, I'm going to play the tune first and then I'll get into teaching it. Hope this is helpful. Hope you enjoy and thanks so much for tuning in to the tune of the month. This month's tune is the Calavo Jig. It's a lovely old tune in E minor, and it's also a lovely place to start talking about different types of articulation that you can use in Irish music. So as a default, if you don't have a great sense of where to tongue and where not to tongue, I often suggest just taking the tongue out of the proceedings, get used to a really strong, seamless sound when you encounter two repeated notes. You use your fingers to cut them. Two E's would be But now, once you uh, master that and get comfortable with that paradigm, there are lots of places to break that rule. The Calavo Jig is one of them. So I'm going to play the tune a couple times. I'll break it down phrase by phrase and I'll talk about tonguing in the Calavo Jig. phrase at a time. I'll play a phrase and give you just enough time to sing it back. Moving on to the B part. So in the A part, those repeated E's you can tongue the second E. Maybe with a gentle tongue, with a duh instead of a ta, like this. So notice I don't tongue the note after that second E. So ta, ta, ta. Ha, ta, ta. Tonguing the F sharp and tonguing the A on the way up to the D. Ha ta ta. Again, D, tongue the A, tongue the F sharp. So there's the annotated guide to the tonguing possibilities of the A part of the Calavo jig. If you have any questions or need further clarification, or ideas of your own, let me know. And thanks so much for tuning in. Hope to see you next month at the Tune of the Month.